Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Mandic and I am game developer, programmer. Uh, the name of my team is Frozen Pixel Studio or short for it is FPX Studio. Camera, action. Hello Nimitz, I'm Philip Lorich and I'm the programmer in FPX. I started this series, I hope that it will be series about development of game engine and that's because I'm working on the game engine for more than three months now and I developed it quite a bit and this is my first game engine well I'm currently doing nothing but I'm supposed to make a website which I hope will be done by the time we update this video and uh, well I'm supposed to be a programmer but I don't have anything yet to program in since he hasn't Mandic, he hasn't uh, yet f finished the engine well what we expect from it to make our first game for development right now I'm developing right now I'm developing only graphics so I'm using uh, C and OpenGL Open Graphic Library um, I, I, I have prepared a video demonstration for you so you will see it later and I will guide you through it I will explain what everything is that we done I, that I done so far in engine <laughs> The type of the engine I'm developing is not for uh, one kind of game. It's not for I don't know a shooter. I'm developing a game engine that will help us easily program game, so that we as game developers be that we be able to in on very fast way develop our own games uh, I have started from scratch I'm using OpenGL hardcore so I'm not using it I'm not using any libraries like loot or something like that well I'm the creative consultant I think I said that and we all know that's not a hard job I just sit around bullshitting uh, about everything he is doing and uh, well I'm well, I'm uh, talking about what's supposed to be done what I want to be done and uh, we have a lot of fun also my goal is to start to, to develop simple engine on the beginning and develop it as the time passes I also in the every stage that our engine for example when we finish when I finish all the uh, rendering and all that so that we can change materials and all that stuff I will then we will then create with it what all that he say capable of in that time we will create a game well my expectations is to make the best game in the world and with a budget of zero that should be a piece of cake don't you think so and as the time pass the engine will improve and the games we create with it will also improve so that it, it's not it's not easy for us for a small team as us we are in in the game developers we're not we're doing this only because we love it and it's not easy to, to to make a game engine this is my first time for that I'm developing a game engine I was working with other engines for about now five or six years also yes important thing to say is that the game game engine is 3d so we will we will focus focus on the three dimensional games
and I also want to develop a tools that will so that we can develop entire entirely everything with our own tools our level editors model editors not something extremely like 3ds max but it will it will probably also like engine it will not be something great it will suck on the beginning but as the time passes we will improve it and here is the demo level of fpx game engine now when you first look at the screen you can see a bunch of models that are textured and shaded also you can see that this little red guy we call him negative he's standing on a platform uh, that is actually the only thing that isn't programmed inside of engine collisions they are not uh, totally done yet but I'm I did it just um, while I was programming the game so because one of my great goals is to make programming of the game as easy as possible so if you look closer uh, our guy Megadude he's actually moving his arms and his head he's an animated model so he can jump yes it, it looks real cool so you can see the gifs those are just static models that are rotating and when I collect them there are two things happening at one time because the gift is removed and a new entity is created and that is animated bitmap it's only frames of bitmap uh, passing by in combination with uh, one of the types of alpha blending so that's uh, one of the things that OpenGL does it has this nice alpha blending that is automatically removing black color and making it look very nice so uh, in the left up corner of the screen you can see uh, it says gifts 10 of 25 that is writing text on the screen it will be a improved as the engine progresses but right now we can change the color we can write as you can see uh, variables in it and we can move it around the screen so I will now run with Megadude to collect all the presents on this area okay now you can see that this platform is fade out and that's because it's transparent you can see other platform through it and this is one of the transparencies that I just set what the alpha value will be so that I can regulate is it how much is it transparent okay now this tree here is created with effect of key color so the one color that we select will be totally transparent and everything else would be will be 100% not transparent so you will you won't be able to look through it this is one of the things that we probably not use so much because um, alpha masks are much more smarter than this you can change the alpha value of every pixel not just one color and you can change it to any to change <coughs> every pixel to a different alpha value and in the end it's pretty much 
actually it is the same speed only probably the loading might take a little bit longer now I collected all these presents